right again. Once Hello. again, we're here a lot now. Yes. Yes. Talking about Pendulum. Pendulum. Um, played it on only two players. We haven't played it more than two, so that disclaimer just out disclaimer there. out there. Let's do it. So, um, oh, uh, should we just? I think we just need to come out with it. You. I you, don't you, like it. You don't it. really. You're not a massive fan of the game. No. I quite like it, but not. It's not like top top game for me. But so we're going to ex explain a bit about generally how the game works. Not a, this is not. It's not how, not how to, to play, play not all. rules, no, don't even listen to us about Just the basic kind of premise <laughs> just, just of the don't, game. Just don't listen to us. <laughs> don't worry. So there, there is a theme to this game, although you probably won't get much of that theme whilst you're playing it. So I looked at the box when they were announcing it. It's a great, it looks great. It looks cool. I've read about it, but it's a game about trying to get the, the throne of the... The, the country clock, of Dunia or something like that. We need that. to restart the clock. Yeah, and it's just, it just sounded really cool. Then yeah. they said there's timers. And then everyone was like, ooh. Ooh, timers. Uh, no, a lot of people were like, <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do it with noises only, okay? Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> um, and, and then the game came. I was lucky enough to get the um, reviewer's copy. Yeah. And oh my god. I just did not know what to do with it. Like, we've played it once. We've played it first time with the base, basic um, play mats yeah. with no timers. So yeah. with that little There's, There are basic timer heroes track. and then advanced heroes. And to be honest, I didn't find the, the, the basic didn't, didn't seem that much. I had no idea what I'm doing. Obviously, it's the first game. We've watched a video. We've yeah. watched... Um, we've read the rules, blah blah blah, and then I just had for the whole game I had no clue what my objective was. I knew I have to move those things, the, the little tracks on the yeah. track. But that's about that. I was just okay. So I have to go here to move this twice. I have to go here to get more money to move this again. And I just a couldn't feel the theme. B, like I felt like this game drags because you have to wait. The two player, I think, yeah. For your um, turn. So for so how, long. <laughs> Sorry. How how it kind of works basically is there, it's worker placement game. You have got all these spots on the board to go with your with your people, um, but the the twist is you can only go to spaces where the timers are not currently running, and when you go there, you don't do the action. You just put your little character in the action. Yeah. They're all ready to go. Then a once, a, once you see that a timer has run out, you or anyone can go and flip it. And now you can do that action, but he's now locked there. He can't move until this timer finishes. Yeah. So, but it might have released a worker who was up here. Okay, now I can get this worker now because he's been released by the timer and put him somewhere else. But you only start with two workers. You start with a little Morty and a big Rick, right? <laughs> yeah. So that's exactly what they do. Like. like Rick and Morty. Um, and so the little one can go only on like empty spaces. The big one can on can go anywhere really. Yeah, it's like the Grand Day worker in Viticulture. Yeah. You've played. Yeah. Um, but you only have two of them. So, well, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna go for the quick actions, the forty-five second actions, where mm -hmm. every forty-five seconds you can get that worker back yeah. and then put him somewhere else? Are you gonna go for the two-minute actions, which is slightly better? But then your worker is there for two minutes. Stuck there for two minutes without him, yeah. Or you're going to go for the best actions. I mean, three. they're not best. They're just different actions that have three minutes. <laughs> three, your character will be locked there for three minutes. Uh, and until... this only goes three times in a round. So, yeah. you, so you can... Can you? Yeah, because you can put something here. It goes once. Then it releases. Yeah. And it goes twice. Yeah. So no, it goes twice, unless you have another worker on the top bit there later on to you, just sort yeah. of... You could get three actions out of it, but I just... it's a lot of trying to forward plan. So first of all, I'm like, right, what does... For my, each character has a different way of getting out of their more workers. Yeah. First thing is like, right, what do I need to get to get my third worker out? Because that would be really useful to have a third worker. And some of them are much easier than the others. Like... I play this, what's her name? The Alchemist. Yeah. And she can, the, her 
yellow, red and blue cubes, basically you can be getting them uh, as wilds. So when it, it doesn't say, oh, get five blues, you can get five or whatever. Yeah. But to get the worker out, she used to pay eight cubes. And at the same time, the objective to get this bloody star thing was to have eight cubes or something. But you don't spend them for Yeah, the so I have to it's wait for happen. the... You have to wait to have the eight, spend it to get that. No, no, wait to get the eight, get the star, and then spend it to get that worker. So... But then on the other hand, oh, I've got this one free and I have nothing to do with him. How about I just spend those four cubes to get a card that gives me something better later on? Yeah. But before I make that decision, the timer flipped. Yeah. And you're sort of stuck with the other ones. Like, well, okay, it's been decided for me because once the timer flipped, you cannot put that work at us. So it's sort of like, okay, so I guess I'm doing the other thing. Yeah, whereas my character in the last game we played, I just had to spend three vote tokens to get yeah. the worker out. Now, vote tokens are useful because you get more bonuses at the end of the round if you have the most votes, but to be honest, it's fairly easy to get votes. But, so yeah, exactly. I, I mean, got, I don't know. I got I just... worker early on. The other thing I, I was trying to do early on is is get these province cards, mm. which go un, which go under your player board, and make make the actions more powerful. Yeah. So this yellow action would give you two gold normally, but if I bump it up now, I get three gold from it. So I always put a load of gold in there first. Mm -hmm. So whenever I need gold, I can just go get gold and I'll get a load of gold. And I don't have to worry about gold. Well, you can get four at most, maybe five, if you yeah. have the card that allows you to have five provinces, uh, three provinces, because you can only have two provinces under each. At the end of the round, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't know. I mean, there probably is a strategy to it. <laughs> I think I was, I'm, I'm beginning to understand how the game works. And it's very mechanical. Uh, and I, I quite like that kind of thinking head. Like, right, I need to do this, this. That's going to flip there, so I need to get this there. I'm trying to aim to get this type of resource, so I can do this. And right, just and then just trying to keep in sync with the timer. The timer's moving this. Do that to do that to do that to do that. But the problem with the purple timer, because it takes so long, if you you don't want to put a worker there ages before it's yeah, exactly. it's like that. You're not going to put a worker there. It's just wet. You, just, you want to put him here and do like yeah. three flips of this one, but two flips of this one. if you forget about that purple one, it might run out before you realise, yeah. and you're like, oh, and then, but then your opponent's like, nope, <laughs> now you can't go then. So and then you, you find yourself there. sitting there like, you know, which is going to move. And, and you know, do, you know, when you're playing the game, you just look at, sitting yeah. there looking at those bloody sun timers and thinking, is, but I mean, this is three grains of sand and this one, three <laughs> grains like, you know, I don't Ultimately, know. Ultimately, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get three different types of victory points. So you've got red, blue, and yellow, which and represent something. you get the gray. Something, Sorry, something, you get the gray. Oh, and the gray, which is an achievement. Um, so to get red and yellow is fairly easy because you can get yellow here on these two-minute actions. And red, you can also get from these two-minute actions. And there's lots of cards that allow you to upgrade to get reds every time you do like brown actions or whatever. Blue, on the other hand, the only way to get blue is on the purple actions. It only gives you one blue. Um, so if you're a character like this, who starts, they have to get loads of blue before they finish. Mm. Often a lot of their cards, every character has like four of its own special cards, will be will help you get more blue. But if you ignore the blue, you're going to struggle because everything else is fairly, you can get whenever, but you need to be really worried He's got a very blue. low blue one. Yeah, this this guy seems direct. You don't need, need much blue. You just need to load it. I think when I played with him, I won. Yes. Um, I feel like game. his tracks are slightly shorter. Not on this side. Not on the north. Like, I don't get it. Why on the like basic side they're, they're longer than on the actual. The, I, don't or, know. I don't know. Maybe I just don't understand the game that well. But I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to invest my time. <laughs> into understanding this game better because it just doesn't do it for me. I just find it too mechanical. I don't like the components. I, I'm just not impressed. Yeah. Um. I quite. I what well, I like. I like these these player boards with the nice artwork on them. Mm. Um. And I quite like these style of slightly sandpapery boards because unlike cardboard boards, they don't warp. Yeah. Which is a real problem with any any game. We have a big cardboard player board. 
It warps. Yeah. Especially if you're playing like in the summer or all the winter. Oh, you live in England and it's just humid all the time. <laughs> if you play outside, you can't play outside in the sun because yeah. it just bends everything. But so I think these are pretty cool, and I think more and more games are going to do these kind of very durable plastic. People hate there. them though. There's, there's do they? a lot of people that hate those. Ah, yeah. And, and the rough texture is quite good because it, it's it means stuff doesn't slide too much on them. Well, obviously, if you do... Point me. It yeah. does. I mean... I, 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 it's just a game for a certain kind of person. I, wow, I, this is, like, so if, if vague. You, well, no, but I mean, <laughs> if, you, if, you do, if you like forward planning and kind of uh, just very mechanical, like, getting this to get this, to do this to do this, and trying to think out turns in a head whilst trying to keep in sync with these timers that are like pain. this feels like work <laughs> it does it's like oh my god i've got a deadline this is my deadline you know it's just like oh my god i need to do it before this happens mm -hmm. and then i have to do it. oh jesus what if i don't and i get fired and then you have nothing else to do because it's true because if you can't put your worker down and you haven't got any other actions you want to take it's useless so you can play the game without the timers you with can the it just has a track that basically artificially moves these yeah. like um so that everyone does an action then then the black one moves everyone does an action then the black one moves everyone does an action now the green and the black yeah. one moves and then it goes like that um so there is a way you play it with less less stress but then at that point i'm like well you could be playing a, a different work placement game altogether so the, yeah. the time, i think the timers for me is what makes this interesting but at the same time it also can make it frustrating. I just feel like there is so much going on on your own board, like on your, you're only focusing on your thing. The 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 element of blocking the space is frustrating because it's not like you know what your opponent's doing. You 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 don't, you don't really look at oh he's got this and she's got that. You you sort of look at it on your own board thinking okay I need I want to do this and this. Yes. Well, I can't do it because everyone's taken those spaces and I haven't got a big worker. And yeah, it's, so it's, the only player yeah. interaction in the game is fr frustrating because in a yeah, so as you say, in other games when you can see what your opponents are going for, if you are looking, okay, they they're trying to do this, which means they they want probably want to do this action as well. So I need to make sure I get the action mm. for them. You don't have time in this game to think about that. It's just like, oh, they've gone to the action now. I can't go there. Um, yeah, I suppose I'm gonna have to wait another two minutes before I can freeze up the other action for me to do. Um, so that can be a bit, bit frustrating, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, we've rated all the um, Stone My games, um, and for me, this was a number ten. I'm, out of ten. Out of ten, yeah. I'm not a big fan. Whereas for me, it was, I think it was like six. So yeah, I, I quite like it. So you'd play it if someone comes over and wants to if play it. If someone wanted you'd to play, play this, I, I would. I would play it. I find this game too much of work for me. And not a lot of fun. This is this is the this is what the shining was about. All work and no play. <laughs> you know. Makes yeah. Jack a dull boy. That's what it is. For me, this is all work and no play. It's just generating stuff to then use to, to get other stuff to then utilise on your boards to get points. Uh, which a lot of games do that kind of thing, but they doesn't feel as mechanical as this in some mm. of the games. It feels like you're actually getting income and, and buying things and doing this, whereas this it just feels like I'm exchanging cubes cubes for cubes to move my discs on my board. And mm. because there's just not that much flavour, like there's the only artwork really is on these boards. This board is just kind of well, it does have an artwork in the background, which sort of a little bit reminds me of cartographers because of the map. It's it's but just like a table. The background of all it is a table with there some is, cloths. Uh, there is a different art on each of those cards. Yeah. This is worth mentioning. But those cards, you slide them under your board. You don't you even don't, look at them. You don't see like, the art. Yeah. Uh, so. It's frustrating. Um, I feel like it's a it's a very bold game. It's definitely gets props for trying something different that I have not seen before. But a game doesn't have to be different to be a good game. And that's been proven by many games. That's been proven, like, the best way for me is the Terrace of London. It's a great deck builder. There's just nothing, like, out there. It's just it's just a deck builder. And it's great. 
And this is just trying, I think, too much, too hard, to do too many different things. And I don't know. I just... I just, I just don't think it's, it's your kind of game at all. No. It doesn't take any of your boxes. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, this one's getting fairly negative. Yeah, us. I don't give um, any thumbs to it. How many uh, thumbs would I'll, you give? I'll, I'll, I'll give it, I'll give give it, it a thumb. One. Because I quite like the puzzle and the, mecha the, the mechanical thing of doing all the stuff, but then... I'm going to give it half a thumb for, like, the art <laughs> and trying. Like, you okay. know, like you get a sticker at school for... for good, good, good effort. You tried something effort, new, yeah. but it didn't appeal to you. A thumb and a half. Yeah, okay. Thumb and a half overall. Um, that's Pendulum. You might, you might really like it. It might seem something very interesting to you, but... Not for us. Not for us. Oh well, bye!